Acid mist is generated during the final stages of the hydrometallurgical metal refining process, such as the electrowinning of copper. During electrolysis, oxygen bubbles form at the anode and it creates acid mist when they burst at the surface level of the electrolyte. Now, sulfuric acid is a clear, colorless, oily liquid and it is highly corrosive. So if you're exposed to sulfuric acid in the air, you'll notice a strong pungent odor and your nose might become irritated. You may be exposed to sulfuric acid at your job if you work in the metal plating, metal refining, or chemical industry. Now, breathing in small droplets of sulfuric acid or touching it with your skin may be the most likely ways you may be exposed. Now, according to estimates from a survey conducted by the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, more than three quarters of a million U.S. workers may be exposed to sulfuric acid. In the case of acid mist, small droplets of sulfuric acid will enter your respiratory tract when you breathe. Now, where they deposit on your respiratory tract depends on their size and how deeply you are breathing. Smaller droplets will deposit deeper into the lungs, and if you breathe through your mouth, there will be more deposits of droplets than if you breathe only through your nose. Sulfuric acid and other acids are highly corrosive and very irritating, and they can cause direct local effects on your skin, eyes, gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts when there is direct exposure to sufficient concentrations. So if you breathe in sulfuric acid, you, it may cause tooth erosion and you'll notice a strong pungent odor and it may irritate your respiratory tract. If you touch sulfuric acid, it may burn your skin. And if you get sulfuric acid in your eyes, it will burn your eyes and cause them to water. Research on those who have inhaled high concentrations of sulfuric acid at work have been shown to have an increase in cancers of the larynx. And based on even limited human data, the International Agency for Research on Cancer believe that the evidence is sufficient to state that occupational exposure to acid mist is carcinogenic to humans. Research on exposure limits have been done for decades, dating back to the early 50s. And the results of these investigations have shown that humans may be exposed up to 5 milligrams per cubic meter of sulfuric acid mist for 10 minutes without injury, and up to 60 minutes for much lower concentrations, such as 1 milligram per cubic meter. Higher concentrations coupled with longer exposure times significantly increase the risk for injury and long-term health effects. Most conventional electrowinning equipment occur in open baths, creating acid mist. Now, workers in plants know firsthand how unpleasant it is to work in these atmospheres, and so they take additional precautions, such as wearing personal protective equipment, like full-face respirators, to reduce their risk of exposure. However, in the hierarchy of hazard control, this is the least effective method of control, and should only be used if the hazard cannot be eliminated, substituted, engineered, or administrated away. The good news is refinery workers can breathe a sigh of relief because there are safer ways to electrowin metals. Advanced electrowinning technology such as this, developed by EMU, are fully enclosed, creating an engineered physical barrier between the hazardous acid mist and the workers. An engineered control tops personal protective equipment in the hierarchy of hazard control, creating a safer working environment. Now, reducing an employee's exposure to hazardous acid mist not only creates a safer working environment, it helps save lives. And can you put a price on human life? For more information on the safest electrowinning system, visit us at www.emu.com.